actually know how many brands are owned by H&M. Now, H&M, our beloved fast fashion guru, <laughs> they have mastered fashion, they really have. But the problem is, in terms of sustainable fashion, that's not great because they're churning out different trends, different lines every week, effectively. And that's too many clothes that we do not need, to be honest, if you are buying to you know keep essentially you don't need that many clothes now as you know or may not know my channel focuses on fashion sustainable fashion accessories reviewing them and lifestyle this video i'm making it to maybe if you're like me you spend a bit of time falling in love with a brand and then you get to the bottom and you find out that this brand is part of the harness and moritz group and that is h&m now they currently as of this video have eight companies eight brands under their group now h&m as a whole they're actually owned by another group they are actually bought as a franchise by another group which is called the al shire group the al shire group actually own h&m they specialize in essentially what looks like buying up franchises per country per continent they're big essentially and they're based in kuwait so middle eastern and they are big they know what they're doing and it seems h&m is going through the same model of acquiring companies in order to grow right and it's an excellent business model the only thing is it's somewhat costing us our planet because of fast fashion we're churning out products more than we actually need them essentially now the brands under h&m are of course h&m themselves h&m themselves are considered part of the group they are a company themselves h&m homes is a company in its on itself then there is monkey there is cos there is weekday there is cheap monday there is arquette and there is and other stories i believe two of these brands focus or specialize on sustainable fashion and um, the rest kind of have put it into what they were already doing and being mindful etc now that brand is monkey they say they specialize on being sustainable and creating items that last and that are not trendy and they're transseasonal etc and then there is cost cost is probably their premium brand really that is quite costly and very you know classic it recreates classics that are just beautiful and good quality and it's definitely reflected in their pricing in their price range for their items now i'm making this video because so that number one you are aware if you're anything like me i'm trying to embark on this sustainable fashion journey and one way i'm trying to be true to that journey is avoiding um, i'm sorry to say companies like h&m because they have created this problem and if we continue to shop there we're recreating the problem the issue is personally the mess that i do in my little head is if we get into a trend of wanting organic cotton and wanting sustainable materials and we start reproducing those materials in the same pace in, uh, we were doing in fast fashion ways we're recreating the problem we've rebranded the problem we have now called it more sustainable because we're using organic cotton but we're producing at the same rate uh, which has brought about the problem and because these companies are so huge and they're just looking to grow 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 which is business fine that's understandable it's not really dealing with the problem because we're just moving the needle from one place to another by a small bit by rebranding and using a different material the issue really is actually in our control in terms of what we buy and why we buy and how we select what to buy so as well as bringing to light who H&M owns and who's under that brand, I thought I'd also give you some pointers in terms of how to avoid being feeling as though you can't help but be part of these brands and part of fast fashion or um, that you can't help but buy. Essentially, I'm going to give tips on how to buy smart and what to look for and if you are going to shop in H&M, what sort of things to buy, essentially, so that you two are doing your part in terms of building a sustainable wardrobe 
etc. So how to start in this journey? I would say, to be honest, this may sound very boring, but it does start with being content. Learning how to be a content individual with what you have and not being energized or pushed by trends to make a decision because these companies are analyzing our behavior and they're chucking at us what to buy and what is cool and we're deciding that we want it, we need it and they just keep giving. <laughs> and so if you are content with what you have and you only buy with the future in mind in terms of several wares, those are two points actually in one, um, avoid trends, actually three, avoid trends, shop with the future in mind, be content with what you have and your wardrobe be satisfied with it and be happy and excited about it which leads me to point number four the way to be excited and happy about your wardrobe i think number one is to buy quality over quantity buying quality over quantity means your clothes last means your clothes are not trendy it means your clothes are transseasonal it means that they last long and they are buildable in terms of you know being able to add them to other pieces and add other things to them so that they look different somewhat etc and you can really style them because you're making them look slightly different each time you wear them so invest in trans seasonal pieces invest in quality over quantity and it doesn't have to be expensive you can be very smart about it in terms of vintage in terms of shopping on depop in terms of shopping in sales because there will always be sales in some of these good shops another cool thing for this quick video is to consider donating what you have in terms of making room so consider only buying when you have made room that makes it more ex of an experience of a journey of a moment in terms of you've created space and now you can buy so use depop use vinted and spock you know all these platforms to resell your old items that are still in fair fairly good condition to be reused give to charity if you can donate to your family and friends like me i have siblings in another part of the world so i give them my clothes some of my clothes that i don't want but yeah guys that's pretty much all for this video like i said this channel i focus on creating content around sustainable fashion how you can get several looks out of something and you know achieve versatility but with trans seasonal pieces that work all year round and you're not shopping and buying because this is trending because guess what next week something else will be trending and you know if you're in that cycle it means that you have to buy that thing too of which you don't need to you really don't have to stay tuned for more i post videos every week so make sure you're subscribed and so that you don't miss any of that and of course you can ask me questions you can we can exchange ideas in terms of tips that you found that work things you're struggling with you can dm me and we can talk that through too and um yeah we can make it a journey that is actually an enjoyable one thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video